today's video, we are in the city of Kaohsiung, Taiwan, about to visit one of the most popular seafood night markets in all of Taiwan. There's gonna be a lot of food for us to try, so I hope you're ready. Let's go. All right, make your way down to Liuhe Night Market. Oh man, you can already smell all the foods. This is gonna be amazing. For the first stop, we're at a local seafood vendor. We specialize in serving all kinds of delicious seafoods that's steamed with salt. Oh, they had oysters, clams, shrimps, and so much more. Oh, we got is a clam special. You can see this gigantic amount of clams is only 170 Taiwanese dollars. 170 for this entire plate of clams. That is a good deal. The stain was a little bit of salt. There's some ginger, there's some vegetables. Oh, which looks so amazing and smells so, so good. I mean, just look at this. Oh, well, not this one. Look at this. Look at that beautiful clam meat over here. Oh, so beautiful. Now, some of these don't have the meat inside because it fell out, but overall, it's still a very good deal for $170. Let's try this out. Oh, that is good. Oh, man. Ooh. A ginger, though, is gaining on me, but overall, the flavor is spot on. Clams, fresh, super clean, I have to say. This is the freshest clam you can get. Probably got it this morning in the ocean. Like, literally. Plump, soft, tender, so juicy and moist. Oh, I mean, look at this one. There's like three pieces of meat inside. Oh, look at how beautiful that is. Mm. Oh. Mm. oh, so delicious. The best part about it is that once you're done with the clam, you just put it on the table. That's it. <laughs> just leave it on the table. But oh man, there is so much flavor. Although a lot of these clams don't have meat inside. I guess they all fell out, but either way, like for the ones that do have meat, so, so good. Mm. Oh. It's not sandy, it's not briny, it's not fishy whatsoever. It has a clean, fresh taste. So delicious. Like, look at this. Look at how much clam meat is inside. Oh man, this is absolutely wonderful. Mm. Oh. That is good. I think they added a little bit of spice too. I feel some spicy kick behind my throat. Not too bad. It's a very subtle spice, but overall, flavor is spot on. Perfect way to start off this video. The next spot we're at is actually right behind the first spot and they specialize in seafood as well. A whole bunch of fish soups, fish head, fish belly, fish skin, oyster, congee, and so much more. But what I'm here for is the fish skin soup. As you can see, this is what it looks like. Oh, it looks so amazing. I'll show the top view later. But it's basically a very simple dish. It's soup, braised in fish broth, with fish skin. And the fish skin is actually quite chunky. There's some meat to it as well. Oh. It looks so good. There's ginger inside as well. They pair it up with some wasabi and some type of sauce. I don't know, but we don't need this. Like this is super soft. Oh, I have to say it's so fragrant. So you will love the smell. It's very fresh smell. It's not fishy whatsoever. It's clean. And just looking at the broth, it's so clear. Not much oil. Actually, there's barely any oil in the broth. It's so clear and translucent. Oh, let's give the broth a try first. Oh, that is nice. Very hot though, it just came out, but such a clear, subtle fragrance of fishy taste. That's very delicious. Has a little bit of ginger kick as well because there's ginger pieces in here too. But that broth is simply, mmm. Oh, who needs chicken noodle soup? If you're sick, just get yourself some fish soup. That's all you need, it's so, so good. There's also some fish skin as you can see over here. Oh, we don't need that much ginger. And they got some nice and delicious fish skin. I don't think there's any bones in here. It's just fish skin with a little bit of meat. Let's give it a try. Mmm. Oh. That's actually really good. Too much ginger in the first bite, but the fish skin itself. Oh. So, how do you describe fish skin? So slippery, so smooth, so soft and tender. You don't even have to chew, it just slurps down automatically in one bite. That is so delicious. And plus there's a little bit of meat on it as well. Very soft, tender, flaky, meaty. Oh, that is a good bite. Ginger, to be honest, I'm not too sure much of a fan of all that ginger. If they had a little bit less ginger, it would be way better. But still, just look at this. The fish meat, oh, so, so good. Mm. 
That's absolutely wonderful. Wow. And best part about it is that this bowl is only 40 Taiwanese dollars. 40 Taiwanese dollars. That's literally like $1.20. It is super duper cheap. Absolutely worth it. I mean, it's a small bowl, but it's very hearty, very filling, and you should definitely try it. Next part we're visiting is a local seafood shop that specializes in omelets. Yes, you heard of oyster omelets? What about shrimp omelets? Or crabs, squid, and so much more. They have so many different omelets for you to try. But we're here for the combination omelet. As you can see, this is what the combination omelet looks like. And it looks absolutely amazing. So there's squid, there's shrimp, there's oysters, fish balls, and so much more. There's cabbage and eggs. Oh. It looks like a hearty meal. They added some type of sweet and savory sauce, I think. But overall, it looks absolutely beautiful. As you know, I love any type of egg omelets, and this is a seafood omelet. Sensation. Oh, let's give it a bite. Let's try some egg. Let's get a little sing, sing, shrimp, I guess. Yeah, shrimp and so much more. Oh, this is a hearty bite. Let's give it a try. Mmm. Oh. That is good. You can definitely tell that seafood is super clean. That's the theme for today. Like every seafood that we've been to was all so clean and fresh. The shrimp over here is very nice, bouncy, good shrimpy flavor. Very, very delicious. But it's all about the egg omelet. Oh, I think they only use one egg only, but still it is very eggy with some, I think they use cornstarch as well to give it that thickness. So, so good. It pairs so well together. I mean, just look at this bite. Oh, mm. Mm. So, so good. Plus the sauce is definitely that sweet and sour sauce, you know. Depending on where you go, they also have some ketchup type of sauce, some orange, some other sauces as well. But over here, it's just sweet and savory, which is so delicious. Get a little bit of oyster as well. I see a nice bit of oyster, shrimp, and egg. Mmm. Oh, that is so, so good. Doesn't got... I think this is squid. I'm not sure what this is. Let's try it. I still don't know what it is. I think it's squid probably, but either way, very soft, very tender. A little bit chewy though, but overall, this dish is so good. The best part about it is that the lettuce they use still retains its crunch. You know, depending on where you go, the oyster omelets or any omelets in general, the lettuce that they put in usually wilts away becomes soggy, but not over here. It still has some crunch, some crisp. Overall, very good. Mm. <laughs> and it's very cheap too. I think the price is around $60, 60 Taiwanese dollars, which is insanely cheap for this. Overall, great deal. The next part we're at is at a very popular vendor specializing in Taiwanese burgers or guabao. They also have other foods too, but we're here for the Taiwanese burger. As you can see, this is what it looks like. It's a very simple item that is very cheap. It's only 45 Taiwanese dollars, which I think is an absolutely amazing deal. So it's basically a bun that you have. You know what buns are. We have those in the U.S. There's pork meat. That's fatty pork meat. There's pickled vegetables. I think there's sesame dust as well. Everything just looks so, so delicious. This is the epitome of Taiwanese burgers. This is what I'm talking about. Anyways, this looks absolutely amazing. Let's give it a try. Mmm. Oh, that is yummy. Oh man, that was just a burst of flavor. Like the bun is so, so soft, so fluffy, so pillowy. Then you also got the pork inside, very fatty, very gelatinous, also soft and tender and very juicy and moist. You also got the pickled vegetables, gives it a nice sour acidity, but it's all about the flavors can combine together. It's a match made in heaven. This is so tasty. Mmm. Mm. Oh, so, so good. And not only that, you also have the peanut crumble or peanut dust, which gives a nice nutty flavor, but it's also sweet. I think they added sugar to it as well. Perfect combination. It's the perfect combination of sweet and savory sensation that dances in your mouth. Oh, this rivals all the burgers in America. Like, you know how in America we got those beef burgers, pork burgers, chicken burgers? They didn't add this on the menu. This is a new sensation. I guarantee if an American try this, this will absolutely blow up. They will love this. This is so, so good. And it's cheap too. It's a very simple concept. Bun, fatty pork, pickled vegetables, and 
peanut dust. Literally it at its alpha worth of 45 Taiwanese dollars? Yes, please. So the next vendor we're going to is a popular vendor that specializes in fried seafood. If you look at the stall, she has fried crabs, big crabs, mini crabs, shrimp, squid, and so much more. But what I thought was interesting was these tiny little baby crabs that's been fried. I never seen them before. I didn't know you could eat crabs this tiny. Like, look at how big this crab is. It's about the size of my thumb. This is a tiny, small crab that's been fried. And best part about it is you can eat the entire body. Oh. I wonder what kind of crab this is. I've never seen this in the States, but this is so interesting. Let's give it a bite. Oh, it's hot. It just came out. Let's give it a taste. Mmm. Oh, that is good. Ooh. Mmm. Oh, that is so interesting. It's literally like a concentrated crab. The minute you bite into it, you just get a burst. A burst of crab flavor that's super strong and potent. That is so good. Crab itself is very crispy and crunchy on the outside because you know crab shells is already crunchy or hard. And then they fry the tooth and give that a double crunchy sensation. Absolutely delicious. Plus they also doused it with some, I think, salt and pepper. So it gives a little bit of seasoning, a little bit of kick. But overall, not bad, but it's all about the crab. This crab is absolutely amazing. Like look at how small it is. It's so cute, but it tastes so good. Mmm. 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 Oh. This is the good crab. This is I did not know baby crab can taste this good. Wow. Oh man. Literally, and it's so cheap too. For one bag of crab, it's literally only 50 Taiwanese dollars. 50 Taiwanese dollars. That's literally like $1.80. So cheap for this gigantic bag of mini crabs. Absolutely worth it. Wow. If you're in Taiwan, you need to try these baby crabs. You will love it. You know, last but not least, we had to get a drink. So I went to this one vendor, which I thought was pretty cool. A lot of people were lining up. So he apparently was selling some kind of fruit drinks. Like they had a star fruit drink, which is pretty cool. I never had a star fruit drink before, so I don't know how it tastes. So I got the safest option, which is lemon and orange and some other citrusy flavors. I don't know, but it looks good. Like, look at it. And it's very cheap too for large. It's only 50 Taiwanese dollars, which I think is worth it anyways. Let's give it a try. Oh, that is so good. Cool, refreshing, cold, but very citrusy. A little bit sour, a little bit acidic, but tastes so good. Oh, this is the perfect way to end the night market tour. For 50 Taiwanese dollars, this is worth it. And cut. Oh, man, what an adventure has it been. We are just toured the amazing Liuhe Night Market here in Kaohsiung, Taiwan. I have to say, even though it was really fun to see, a lot has changed because, you know, due to COVID, a lot of the vendors have shut down. So it wasn't as often as it was before, but it's still a great place for amazing seafood. As you know, we got a whole platter of clams, mini crabs, the seafood omelet, and even the guava is so much more. All the foods are so, so good. If you guys ever get a chance to visit Taiwan, highly recommend going to Gao So and visiting the old Hud night market. It's a great place with amazing food and you will absolutely love it. And that's basically the video. So thank you so much for watching. Hope you guys enjoyed it and see you on the next Taiwan video.